and viewers that you are live. Well, that's nice. No one ever said making waffles was neat. The first waffle is always the test waffle anyway, because <laughs> I have to get used to it again. Fatten, that needs to get off the heat. Oh yeah. Well, I, I preheated it actually oh, in the wow. oven, so.
Oh, damn it. Not off to a good start, I'm afraid. Nope, unfortunately not. Looks like the first one's stuck. Great. Oh well. All I can do is keep practicing. Are you a welder too? No, definitely not. <laughs> Well, I'm only an amateur cook, as this waffle is going to demonstrate. <laughs> but what can you do? Like I said, first waffle is always a test waffle anyway. of a disaster, unfortunately. And I'm not sure yet. Come on, you bugger. Yeah, it's, yeah, regrettably it's stuck. Oh well. There's unfortunately nothing that can be done about that. Really great start here. It's all right. Let's take this off. See if we can at least salvage this. So far, I would rate this waffle probably two. Out of ten, I will be the first to admit that. I mean, this is not the easiest thing in the world. Ah, nuts. Oh, well, nothing much that we can do here other than keep on trying. But what I have to do is Get this out. Ah, nuts, nuts, nuts. Come on, you bugger. Despite the sticking, and the fact that this thing is damn hard. Oh, way too hot, in fact. <sighs> Changed to a silicone glove. Despite the sticking, it really does not look like it's burned. Unfortunately, or for whatever that's worth. Definitely, all I can do <laughs> is try again. This is the type of thing you never see on those pre-recorded YouTube videos. But, again, not much I can do about that. There. See, it's actually not burned. Which is why all I can do is try again. I did say already that the first one would be a test waffle. 
and this is not my first time using this waffle iron too, so kind of embarrassed about that, but truthful. I mean, again, what can you do? And now for the other part. There we go, that helps. Probably could have oiled or greased the waffle iron better. Yeah, because, come on you, you know what. Ugh, nuts, nuts, nuts. Well, I'm the one who decided to try doing this live on TikTok. I might as well eat my crow. There. That's what I mean. Despite all that, it's still not burned. So technically, I could, I could eat it. But... Let's head back here and get ready for attempt number two. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying to the camera, the first one, regrettably, it did stick, but it did not burn, actually. So if you don't mind, I mean, feel free. Badly, you guys got yeah, a broken so part. Oh, oh, actually, yes. Good point. Um, where did I put that back? Uh, oh, yeah, not here. here it is. I had melted this button this, previously. Is this the silverware? Yes, it is. Help yourself. I melted the butter previously and then had to re harden it. It's on it's uh, unsalted butter. Oh. Oh, I trouble. <laughs> yeah. Probably you want you know something else to eat, but also probably you're telling me it's wet out there. I can't do anything about being wet out there, trouble. <laughs> Take two. That's all we can do here. The way the comments are educating me. Okay, I'm making, you know, probably be making the same mistakes. Yeah, exactly. That's why, you know, I'm not, I'm not upset. This is unfortunately, <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> So yeah, feel free to uh, tell me how much I suck at making waffles because that's just life. <laughs> anyway, I've got to wait for this thing to heat up. When the temperature gets back past 425, the next waffle will be ready. I also have syrup here if you want it. All right. All right. I mean, again, folks, I'm the one who chose to go on TikTok Live with this. Waffles are tricky to make, so... If it sticks, it's no one's fault but my own. There we go. And that's why I'm not going to throw a temper tantrum over it. As long as it's edible. Speaking of which, you're trouble. Have some of this. Getting close anyway. You should see my pixels. Homemade waffles, yeah. 
Despite that, I hope the waffle itself is okay. It's fine, though. Okay. Thank you. I mean, I say this every time. If you feel that it needs something, let me know. Other than a makeover. <laughs> yes, that's certainly true. can do now is make attempt number two. This time I can be sure, grease it really good. In fact, I better get my oil back out because I'm using it faster than I expected, but that's all right. There we go. Especially here on the top. If at first you don't succeed, waffle, waffle again. This ain't the waffle house. <sighs> I'm hearing a nice sizzle this time that I did not hear last time. Hopefully that's a good sign. The first waffle unfortunately stuck, but it did not burn. I'm doing everything wrong here. Oh well. You're just in time for attempt number two. Uh, this is a Stover brand waffle iron. Stover was a company in Illinois, Freeport, Illinois. They're actually more famous as a maker of bicycle parts. Apparently pretty famous for that, in fact. They made bicycle parts in the later 19th century through the mid 20th century, in fact. And they really did not produce any other kitchen items. About the only thing they made, for some reason, they decided to make waffle, waffle irons. And they made quite a few of them, too. Stover waffle irons, I mean, if, if you are an antiquer and you regularly go to antique malls and the like across the country, it's not too hard to find a Stover waffle iron.
So this particular one is estimated to date to maybe around the 1920s or so, meaning that this waffle iron is about 100 years old. Pretty good shape for a 100-year-old waffle iron. It's smoking. Yes, it is. Actually, that's also steam coming out, and that's supposed to be a clue as well. When the steam stops, the waffle is ready. Also, the previous waffle, unfortunately, it did not burn, but it did stick, meaning that there are probably bits of the uh, origin of the first waffle that may very well burn, just not on the inside. It's ready. All right. Well, let me see what happens. Where did my fork go? Where did my fork go? I just had a fork here. Here it is. Oh, nuts. Well, actually, not as bad. Let me get this off of here. Sort of stuck, but I managed to peel it off. So that's an improvement. Now the real question, of course. Hey, <laughs> oh, come on. Three and. Oh, come on, the last part here. Come on, almost there. I think we got it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, the next one was still not perfect, but check it out. We've got a waffle. Syrup, which means, oh, that would probably help too, wouldn't it? You mean those things you eat with? And this if you need it. Certainly, yes. Or can you just hand me the orange juice stuff? Orange juice coming up. Here it is. Uh, like I said, like I said, you don't have to worry about interrupting the video or anything like that. This is just a casual video. What you're seeing now is, in fact, smoke. <laughs> there was a little piece of the waffle somewhere, probably underneath. It probably is burning, but it's not going to test the food, so. <laughs> I have a waffle maker. It makes just like Waffle House. Nice. <clears throat> probably much more elaborate than this. Oops, more batter. Yep, no, I don't. I'm preheating it right now, or rather reheating it, for the next waffle. Sorry? That was like a cup for orange juice. That would probably help too. Oh, actually. That's a good one. Probably getting about ready for the next waffle. Let this thing slide all over the place. Getting close, maybe another minute. The other thing, of course, is that these things were designed to go in the stove eye of a wood-burning stove. If you have a round range top, that would also fit well. Mine, as you can see, is rectangular. <laughs> so I definitely am gonna need two hands for this thing. Mm. 
maybe about another 30 seconds. Did you know most of the iron made by that company cost around 200 to $300? Yes, indeed. Are you referring to Stover or Griswold? I saw somebody mentioning Griswold. I'm very familiar with Griswold. I have several Griswold uh, skillets in my collection and a Griswold Dutch oven. Griswold is fantastic quality, probably some of the best cast iron cookware ever made. And yet, it when you find it at antique malls or wherever, it always sells for sky high prices. If you just want something to cook with, you don't have to go with the brands. My favorite cast iron to cook with, in fact, is unmarked. It is the skillets and pans and Dutch ovens made by Birmingham Stove and Range of Alabama. BSR, in fact, was a company that made a ton of cast iron. And then they unfortunately went bankrupt in the early 1990s and went out of business. And they were largely forgotten until the last decade or so. But before I start talking, One last thing. Replenish my oil, which went through faster than expected. And time for waffle number three. Well, it's definitely hot enough, that's for sure. Okay, well, one thing I've learned is don't skimp on the oil. And that's definitely what I am doing or not doing, not skimping. There we go. And with that, attempt number three, this one's probably going to overflow. I can live with that. <sighs> Oh yes, these waffles are making a big mess on my stove. Cleaning up is going to be so much fun. And here again we have escaping steam. I guess that's why one reason why waffles are considered to be so special. Take a lot of effort to make and a lot of cleanup. <laughs> Well, fortunately, I have company this morning, so felt like making them some waffles, and so far I'd say we've had one and a half successful waffles. Of course, again, as long as it's not burned, then you can still call it a success. One mantra I have learned for myself over, over the past decade or so of cooking simply goes like this. In cooking, there are a few disasters and many learning experiences. Fortunately, we can still eat the learning experiences. <laughs> ah, cast iron guy, get some purple power, melts the grease away. I should probably do that. Because, yeah, I mean, as much as I like Dawn for, uh, you know, as a degreaser, I could probably use something stronger for instances like this. 
for the stove, that is. I mean, granted, all the oil does help to season the uh, cast iron. Yep. Time for the flip. That's definitely not gonna on the outside. <laughs> it's cooking too fast. No. I will turn down the heat very slightly. Now you're talking about because it's it's a burn bit here on the outside. However, we can still see steam coming out. I'm gonna try to clear some of this off, in fact. Because again, it seemed to work last time. When the steam stops, the waffle is done. Purple power is a big no. Dawn works just fine. Welding waffles. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. We're welding some waffles. Get rid of the extra bits. I don't use soap on my cast iron at all. Gloves, what a mess, what is happening? Well, I am making waffles and I'm doing it the old fashioned way. Yes, I'm making a mess <laughs> because making waffles is messy, especially with an old fashioned cast iron waffle maker. Fortunately, it's my kitchen. I'm the one who'll clean up the mess. I'm also the one who decided to do this live on TikTok, and I'm the one who's facing the consequences of it, which is why the first waffle stuck, and you got to see that. The second waffle was successful. You got to see that, too. And cooking the cast iron low flame, definitely. You have your heat too high. Well, I have just turned it down. So we do have a lower heat coming up now, although I know it takes a while for the, t for the iron to adjust to that. Still, I think we're getting close to that point. I'm still seeing some steam coming out, but... The other saying, of course, is if you can smell it, it's done. So, um, not often. So far, so far, within the past week or so, I've made a total now of six waffles. Five of them have not stuck. So I'm actually uh, not doing too bad. Yeah, cool toy to play with. Pretty much that's what it is, yes. And again, I will gladly take this criticism because I never, I am not a professional chef, nor I have, nor have I claimed to be. And I think we are getting close to it. I don't believe I see any more steam. James, here we go again. Oops, uh-oh. It is a little dark, yes. Still not burned though. Which means I grab another plate quickly, and then comes our attempt. Let's 
see what happens this time. And, aha, uh -huh. hey, hey, hey. Still kind of dark, you are correct about that. But, I do believe we have it. Yes, indeed. Here is waffle number three. All told, not bad. Seems like I'm improving very slightly with each one. Which means, get to put this back on. I just have to heat it up one last time, and we will work on waffle number four. The thing with cooking with cast iron is lower heat, definitely. It just takes a little longer to cook. <laughs> I agree 100% with that. Low and slow. I probably did start out too hot. I'm kind of talking to the TikTok audience, but that's, that's all right. right. Yeah, that's okay. But so far, it's slightly improved with each one. So I'll be heating the fourth and last one. All the rest of this, in fact, all I need to do is just uh, thin it out a little bit and it'll be pancake batter too. We don't have that pancakes now, but. Yeah. Hmm. I second this. Well, thank you, whatever you're seconding. Probably the advice. And yeah, after the fourth waffle, I will be all set for this morning. And then, of course, I'll have a big mess to clean up. I could keep going on TikTok. I'm sure you folks would be all excited about watching me clean up a greasy stove. Not. <laughs> so. Still, on the other hand... I believe it, because why not? But there was, that was a cleaning channel. Oh, well, there is that. <laughs> <laughs> this is something of a cooking channel, slash personal channel, mostly cooking. <laughs> On the other, other hand, I'm hoping folks would rather watch cooking or cleaning rather than all of the political crap that TikTok Live has uh, attracted over the last few months. It's like you go on TikTok Live these days and it's like every other video. Let me see. They're currently they're either arguing about the elections or trans rights, which is good to talk about, yes, but Are you in the cast iron groups on Facebook? As a matter of fact, I'm an admin of one of the cast iron groups on Facebook. So yes, I, I am very familiar with that. I also have my own Facebook page as well, Cast Iron Chaos. You could take a look if you'd like. Yeah, again, it's called Cast Iron Chaos. Mm -hmm. All right, we are getting close, I think. Yeah. All right, probably. Just eat it one more time. We'll flip it one more time. Careful here. I 
I really have to do this two-handed. That's what this thing is for. All right, give me a couple of seconds, then we'll flip it one more time. And then waffle number four. Um, yes, I am in the BSR group as well. I've been on there for several years. Learned a lot from that group. Okay, probably about ready. Here we go again. Once again, don't skimp on the oil. I trouble. <laughs> no trouble, you do not like waffles. Trouble is my cat. Trouble with a capital T. Love him to death. Hopefully I won't be the cause of it. There we go. Yeah, definitely getting better all over the place. And this is also definitely going to overflow again. That's all right. What's important is how it tastes. Want some waffles with your oil? <laughs> well, it is true, especially for something like this, that if you don't want it to stick, you definitely do need to use a lot of oil. Cast iron can be non-stick. However, waffle irons are a pain. They're a real pain in the pita bread. Let's just say P-I-T-A. So I figured best to be safe and make sure there's plenty of oil. Love a good waffle. You don't have to drown it in oil. <laughs> well, all I can do is keep practicing. As I've said, I do not claim to be a professional chef. And you can tell by this mess that I am not one. <laughs> Just a guy who likes to cook. It's a hobby that I've enjoyed. It's a lot of fun. Use cinnamon rolls next. Yeah, I, I could do that. I could, you, I could make cinnamon rolls in this. Take it out, it's done. No, not yet. I haven't even flipped it. On the other hand, I definitely should flip it. There we go. Besides, there's a fair amount of steam coming out yet. Again, the rule with making waffles that seems to be working is when the steam stops, then the waffle is ready. Mm, I'm not so sure. This is waffle number four already. So far, I have not yet burned any of them. The first one did stick, and yet it still did not burn. And yes, this did overflow, which again is not a problem because I'm not eating the overflow. It's done. I'm still saying not yet, from the way it's sizzling right now. And there is actually still steam coming out of here, a fair amount in fact. Whether or not it's burned anyway, 
I'm the one who's going to have to face the consequences of it and eat it. So... Hmm. This is stressful. Yes, it is. There's no denying that. I could have just simply made pancakes. Is it steam or smoke? This is definitely steam. I mean, notice how it's, you know, the steam disappears immediately. If it was smoke, it would go all the way up there. Take it up. Actually, I should probably flip it one more time. Okay. At which point now, we just simply wait. I did turn the heat down, as you folks noted. So hopefully that is helping. So we're doing more of a low and slow waffle this time. <laughs> you can do a waffle cake, use a strawberry cake mix. Yeah, I could do that. I went all out and made a homemade waffle mix, waffle batter here. So live or die by it. Right now, I'm living by it. You only flip a waffle once, just like a steak. And I will disagree there, because I flip my steaks regularly, too. And it, I feel we are free to disagree, because the smoke steam is burning. No. Take it out, it's not a frisbee. <laughs> Uh, based on this, I'll give it a few seconds, then all we can do is see what happens. Hmm, looks like it's sticking once again, maybe or maybe not. I can turn off the heat now, in fact. And one more time. All right. Not a bad start, but here's the real question. How about the bottom? And the answer is, aha, uh -huh. hey, hey, hey. It's bad, Albert. Yeah, and number four. There we go, there we go. <laughs> and we have waffle number four. And yes, it has improved somewhat with each one. There's the other side, in fact. So there we go. But thank you for your advice, folks, too. Uh, all right, well, that means, let's say we are probably done here because well, number one, I want to eat a hot waffle. Looks hard. Yeah, it's, that was tricky, yes. But it can be done. If an idiot like me can do it, really, pretty much anybody can. It just it does take patience. <laughs> I will be signing out so I can have a hot waffle and then clean up this mess. So, thank you very much for watching, folks. And thank you for not murdering me in the comments. Catch you later.